Welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. Today we're going to talk about the disassembly, cleaning, and reassembly of the Security 9 pistol. First off, you'll notice that I have no ammunition on the table. I'm going to put my safety glasses on, and we'll start by clearing the pistol. So I'm going to point it in a safe direction. First thing I have to do is remove the source of ammunition. So I'll press the magazine release, remove the magazine. Next, I have to place it on fire so I can retract the slide. As I pull the slide back, I'm going to use my thumb to kind of lock the slide using the slide stop here. Next, I will visually and physically inspect the chamber to make sure that there's no ammunition in the firearm. It's now clear and I'm ready to disassemble. So I'm going to allow the slide to move forward. And in order to disassemble, what I have to do is get the slide to a position where it's just slightly out of battery. I need to retract the slide about a sixteenth of an inch. One way to do this is just to press it flat on a table until you can see the slide moving just a little bit in the frame. At that point, the takedown pin will align with the hole and I can pry that out gently just using a flat tip screwdriver or without tools. I simply use the feed lips of the magazine. I remove the takedown pin and now I can remove the slide just by pulling it forward without pulling the trigger. So this grip frame is now completely disassembled as far as you need to go. With the slide, I'm now going to remove the recoil spring and guide rod, which is one piece, and I'll remove the barrel. This is as far as you need to go for field stripping the Security 9. Next we're going to inspect and clean the firearm. Starting out with the magazine, I'm going to look for any damage here on the feed lips and also just to make sure that it's generally clean. I can brush that off, I can use solvents, whatever I need to do to keep this magazine clean. And we should generally keep it dry, not lubricated. Next, I will go to the slide. Using a toothbrush or a cleaning brush, I can just clean these rails. I can clean any areas in here where I see uh, fouling. And then I can wipe that down using a, a moistened oil, a rag, or a solvent just to kind of clean that out. So once that's nice and clean, uh, I can inspect my guide rod, make sure there's no problems there, everything looks great, and I'll go to my barrel. Uh, to clean out the barrel, uh, you can start with a brass brush or a nylon brush or, or something to kind of clean that out, get any of the tough fouling out of there. We'll then move to a patch or a swab using some solvent and we'll clean it out a little bit more. And finally, once that's nice and clean, put a light coat of oil on a clean patch, make sure that it comes out clean. Next, we'll, we'll move to the frame. We'll do the same thing here. We'll just use our brush. We'll clean those rails off. We'll inspect for any damage, make sure there's nothing chipped or, or broken. And then we are ready to reassemble the firearm. So reversing the order, I'm going to place the barrel in the upside down slide with the lugs facing up. That will properly set in the recess. Picking up my guide rod and spring, I'm going to put the smaller end here toward the muzzle. And I'm going to put the flat end into this little recess in the barrel. It'll sit there really nice. Picking up my grip frame, I can now slide these together. And finally, I'm going to reinsert my takedown pin with the, the recess facing up that will allow me to get my screwdriver in there. I'm going to just retract the slide about a sixteenth of an inch like I did before so we can get these holes to line up. And then I'm going to slide that pin back in. It'll snap down. And now the firearm is reassembled. Once I've reassembled it, I'm going to do a quick functions check just to make sure I've done this properly. And what I'll do is I will start by retracting the slide to cock the hammer. I'm going to squeeze the trigger with it pointed in a safe direction. I hear it click, the hammer fell. I'm maintaining pressure on the trigger. I'm now going to manually operate the slide to recock the hammer, allow that to go forward. And as I release the trigger, I should hear a click. That's the reset. I'll pull the trigger one more time. It fired. Okay, so I know that works. Finally, I'm going to pull it back one more time. I'm going to place it on safe. I'm going to pull the trigger. Make sure nothing happens on safe. So, functions check is completed. The firearm is now reassembled and it's ready for storage or heading back to the range. Thanks for watching Ruger Tech Tips.